Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to make custom beds here in Minecraft Bedrock. The first thing you need is a folder to build everything in. I have one right here. This is on my C drive. I just called it Bedrock Beds. It can be anything you want, any name you want. And I have my three images in here that we'll be using on those three beds. Okay, now we also need to get the bed images themselves. And for that, we'll get a new vanilla resource pack. And I'll bring up our browser window, and I'll show you where you can download that. And this right here at Minecraft.net. I'll put the link in the description so you can find that real easily. And this just scroll down just a little bit, just past these two pictures here. And right down there, you want the link that says resource packs. Click on that and download that into your working folder location. And we're done with that window. Okay, there we go. Let's now open this up in a new window. I'm just going to right click and choose open in new window. Now a couple things that we need in here. First off, we need to get this file here, manifest JSON and also the pack icon. Let's just change our view here to large icons. You can see those better. There we go. I'll take manifest and I'll also use the control key and grab the pack icon. I'm just going to right drag those over here and copy. We'll need both of those for the resource pack. Now let's find our graphics. They're inside of textures and then inside entity. And right here's a folder named bed. Everything is in there. So let's make two folders over here. I'll just right click and new folder textures. There we go. Let's go inside of this, right click, new folder, entity. There we go, inside of that, and we'll put that beds folder right here. Same thing, I'm just going to right drag it over here and copy, there we go. And that has all of our bed graphics in it. Okay, that's all we need from the resource pack. There we go, let's go back to our working folder right here. Okay, we're now set to go ahead and open this stuff up and I'll be using a program called paint.net. I'll put a link for that in the description. It's a great graphics program and it's free and that will do everything that we need. Okay, let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, here's paint.net and here's our working folder. I'm just going to grab these images right here and you can just drag those in like that and then choose open. We'll open up all those images, that's fine. You bring back up that working folder again and go inside of textures and entity and bed in here. We need just a few of these. We have three images. I'll use the lime one here for the creeper. I'll use the light blue here for my spacesuit. And let's just use the blue for that fancy pattern. Same thing, just drag those over here and open. Okay, all of our images are open now. Now the beds are real small graphics. So I want to increase the size here of these. Go over here to image, come down to resize. And in here, set the sampling at nearest neighbor right there and then change the size here to four times as big, which is 256. Both of those will change. Choose OK. There you go. Do the same thing for the other two beds. Image resize 256. Choose OK. And our last bed here, image resize 256. And OK, they're all set. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. And that's bottom right hand corner on this program. There we go. Now a couple of things about this. You see we have our basic bed in here. That's the top of the bed. There's one side, here's the other side, and a little bit right down here. This is the bottom section down there. If you're just putting your image on top of the bed, you can ignore that, and we'll do that for the creeper right here. Let me just zoom in on this guy a bit as well. There we go. Go up to Edit, come down to Select All, and then Edit and Copy. Let's go back to our green bed right here, and then Edit and Paste into New Layer, and there he is. And then just find a nice spot to put them. I'll put them just like that and then edit and deselect. And there we go. That's the first bed is all set and ready to go. Let's now do our second bed. That's the blue one here. Same thing. I'm just going to zoom in a bit on this. Can see it better. There we go. Same idea. There's the image. Bring that up and then edit, select all, edit copy, back to our light blue bed and edit, paste into new layer. There it is, that's the graphic right there. That easy to do, okay. Edit and deselect. So that's our two basic beds here. Now the last one is trickier. There's a few more steps to it. It's our blue bed here. I'll just zoom in on this. And then here's our graphic for that. Now this image is too big to fit on the bed property. It's much too large of a graphic size. So we need to bring this down a bit. Go up here to image and resize. And this is 640 by 640. We put our beds at 256 by 256 and the actual beds only, it's less than half of that. So that's 128. So I'm gonna bring this width down to 128 like that. Choose okay. It just makes it a smaller image. Edit and copy, there it is. And back up to our bed here, there we go and then edit, paste into new layer, and there's our blanket right there. I'm just going to pull this down, put this into position. Now you can use the keyboard keys, the arrow keys on your keyboard to get that position just right, and then pull the side in, I'll put that right here. Now it needs to be just a little bit long at the bottom. I'm gonna put it right here, we're gonna cut off a little bit of that, but right about there is probably good. And then let's do edit and deselect. 
We now need to put in this bottom piece and get a position so we know how much of that bottom bed to leave. So I'll hide that top layer, come back down to the background layer here. Let's grab this tool. This is the rectangular marquee tool or the rectangular selection tool. And I'll make a little selection right around this end piece right here. Just get right to those edges like that. Edit and copy and edit. Paste into new layer. You can see there it is. You can now take the move tool and bring it right down here. And I need to flip this over. So layers and rotate 180. Flips it over, it'll get put someplace else, but that's fine. Just grab it and bring it over here, and then get that position just right, which is right there. That's where the bottom of that bed should be. Okay, we can bring back in our top blanket. There we go. And let's do an edit and deselect. We now need to cut off the excess stuff. So hide this for a second. And on this layer down here, I'll grab the selection tool again. And I'll make a selection like this just up here. Go out a little ways and come right at the bottom of that bed piece right there, that blanket. Just like that. Let's go back to our top layer here and select that. And hit the delete key. That just cuts off that extra bit right down here. So now hide that again. And we need to cut out these little corner sections. Same exact thing. I'll come out here someplace and I'll just pull this up right into the corner like that. Let's show that blanket again. Hit the delete key and then we'll hide that. And same thing one more time. I'm gonna come outside and down a little ways and I'll pull up and come right into that corner just like that. Let's bring that back up again. Hit the delete key and then hide that. Okay, that's the right size now for this. So I'll cut that off of this piece. I still am on my rectangular selection tool here. Let's just make a selection just like that, just over that end piece. And this time edit and cut and then edit, paste into new layer. There you go, it's right here. Now take this piece and put it right on top of that end section up there. That's in place. Let's now come down to our new foot section down here and just hide that one. And there we go, we can go ahead and then edit, deselect. That's all set to go. Let's now save everything out. Go up to File and Save. This is going to save it automatically as the paint.net version PDN. I'm going to leave that in case I want to come back and change this later. Choose Save and then do a Save As to the PNG file format and that's PNG. Choose Save. It'll ask you to overwrite. Choose Yes and OK and Flatten. That one's done. Same thing here. File Save and Save and then PNG Save As. Back to PNG, save yes, OK, and flatten. There we go. Last one is our creeper. File save, and then file save as. PNG, save yes, OK, flatten, and that's it. We're now done with paint.net. We can close this down. OK, there we go. There's our new bids. There's a PNG file. So that's all done. OK, we're now ready to build our resource pack. We'll need our textures folder, the manifest JSON, and the pack icon PNG. Now this is just a square image. It's at 256 by 256. It can be any picture you want, as long as it's square and it's named that, then you're fine. Now in the manifest, we need to make a couple of changes in here. I'll be opening this up in Notepad++. It's a free editing program. I'll put a link for that in the description. Let's go ahead, double click on that, and open this up. Now in here, we have our name right here. I'm just gonna change the name. I'll call it New Beds. Then to make this easy, I'm just going to copy that, right click and copy, come right down just below that and right click and paste. Make sure you leave those quotation marks in there and those commas. I'll do the same thing right down here, right click and paste. There we go. Now I have these two UUID codes, this one and this one. These are like license plates on a car. Every resource pack in your game has to have a different code. So to make this easy, I'm just going to change the end here. Now the last pack I made, I used a six. This time I'll change this. I'll add a seven onto this. That makes that nine. And I'll add a seven on down here that will make that 26. There we go. And choose save. Okay, that's all set to go. We can now build the resource pack. Select your textures folder. Hold the control key down. Click on manifest and pack icon. Go to share and choose zip. And then give it a name. I'll call it new beds, just like that. And make sure you see that dot zip here. If you don't see the dot zip, Go up to view, and go over here where it says file name extensions, put a check right there, you'll then see the dot zip. Now click into the name like that, and then change that to MC Pack, just like that, and choose yes. Okay, we're now ready to load this into the game. Make sure Minecraft is not running, and then double click this to load it in. And there we go, it's going to load up Minecraft and also get that pack ready to load into the game. We'll have to add it in as a global resource or in the world. Okay, import started, wait for it to say success. And there we go, successfully imported, that's all set to go. Come down to settings and scroll down here to global resources, go into my packs, there's our new pack, click on that, choose activate, check in active, there it is, that's all set to go. Load that in, this now play the game and make sure the beds look fine. And here's the world I'm in right now that I'm gonna call my world, let this load in. And there we go, there's our three nice new beds, as you can see, very easy to do.
Okay, I'll see you next time.